Hi, I'm James. And I'm Laurent. And today we are in the beautiful Loire Valley of France. And we're going to visit the Chateau of Cheverny, which inspired Tintin. Let's go! Cheverny is one of the later chateaus built in the Loire Valley in 1634. Yeah, and it was built in only 10 years and it was never modified, so it's a very homogeneous castle. It's probably the most perfectly preserved of any of the chateaus we visited. It didn't suffer hardly any damage during the French Revolution. So the Chateau of Cheverny inspired cartoonist Hergé to design Tintin's Marlin Spike Hall. It looks just like Cheverny, but without the side wing. All the ceilings were painted by painter Jean Monnier, and the walls are covered in leather. It's absolutely incredible. This leather has been around for 400 years and is still original to the chateau. And all the sculptures throughout the castle in their stairwells are all original as well. Cheverny has a lot to offer for little kids, but one of her favorite rooms was the guard room with the collection of armor. Yeah, the armors were really spectacular, and some of them weighed like 100 pounds. Neither of us had ever been to Cheverny and we weren't quite sure what to expect, but it is a magnificent chateau, very, very well preserved. And then there was also a chest that belonged to King Henry IV. We were really intrigued by that locking cabinet. We spent a lot of time looking at that chest. It had a very intricate lock and it was really hard to understand how it actually opened. So Cheverny has a partnership with Lego and there are lots of Lego sculptures throughout the castle. It's really a smart way to engage kids. But the most spectacular room has to be the king's room. Even though no king ever slept in Cheverny, every chateau was supposed to have a king's bedroom just in case the king decided to come and visit. The bed is covered in an incredible Persian embroidery from the 16th century that uses gold, silver, and silk thread in its design. It's spectacular. And the paintings were also from Jean Monnier, but in the king's bedroom, they are Italian inspired. Those paintings are just so different from the paintings in the rest of the chateau, which just shows that Jean Monnier had a very broad range because is just completely different. Another thing we really like was the family tree. Cheverny has been in the same family for 400 years and they have this huge family tree that dates back from their ancestors 400 years ago to the present owners of the castle. Another room we really liked was the library. It was a very peaceful room, had more than 2,000 ancient books. I really thought the piano was especially beautiful and the way it was painted to match the rest of the room. If you like furniture, you will love this chateau. It has some of the best preserved works by Bull and other very famous Parisian artisans in beautiful materials like tortoiseshell. The Grand Salon also has two paintings, one by Titian and one by Raphael. Absolutely amazing. So when you see pictures of Cheverny, it's usually of the southern facade, but the northern facade is very pretty as well. It's a lot more rustic. It's made of stucco instead of the stones of the southern facade. In April, the park has an enormous tulip garden with more than 150,000 bulbs. Unfortunately, we were too late to see it. So have you ever seen more than 100 dogs being fed at the same time? It's incredible. So Cheverny is a big hunting venue and they have more than 100 hounds. And every day at 11.30 they feed the dogs and it is an absolutely incredible spectacle. And the dogs know exactly what time it is because they are so excited because they, they know the food is about to get there. And the souvenir shop was very distinctive in the sense that it had all the Tintin memorabilia, action figures, and books all related to Tintin. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and put your comments in the comment section below. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, we are going to put a link right here. And if you want to get notifications about our upcoming videos, be sure to click the bell. And if you want to watch our other videos, we're going to put one right here and another one right there. Bye. Bye.